What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Louis Coach Review back here with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on the Iron Smith mod that's right this is the ironsmith mod company and this company has released three mechanical tube mods one in 316 l stainless steel and another in brass and another in copper and guess which one of the three is my absolute favorite the 316 l stainless steel over the copper and over the brass mechanical tube mod now that's something that pretty much a lot of people are surprised at especially with me because i'm always down for a copper mechanical tube mod i'm always down for a brass mechanical tube mod but a stainless steel usually falls under the lines of something that i usually think is going to generate a hot button now one company out there that has manufactured stainless steel mods has really caught my eye and that I actually own two of their mechanical tube mods and that's High On USA. Now High On USA makes stainless steel mechanical tube mods but they've got Ultim buttons with uh, copper contacts and a whole nine yards and everything and they just do not get a hot button and they fire pretty strong. Okay, so I have the black Sicario and I also have a stainless steel Sicario and uh, one is a single 18650 the other is a dual 18650 in series and I love and appreciate both of those stainless steel mods but this one on the other hand runs at a price tag of $159 for the stainless steel now if you were to get the copper or the brass they actually run at $129 for less money this 316 L stainless steel mechanical tube mod is actually more money so it costs $30 more to get this mechanical tube mod and sitting up top I've got myself a dead rabbit RDA with a nice set of alien coils made by wrap coils or wraps coils uh, I'll put his uh, address over here he goes by at wraps coils he actually makes really good coils and i'm going to show you his website as well uh this mechanical tube mod can be purchased at a guy by the name of Corey's coils and i'll put his link in the description down below to pick up the stainless steel the brass or the copper as well now this company ironsmith mod also produces batteries and they also produce coils but this mechanical tube mod has been my favorite uh for a while now i've had this mechanical tube mod since august of 2017 i've been rocking it over and over and over it's in my daily rotation it has a pretty uh, impressive switch it kind of reminds me of the vapors cloud uh vapors cloud mods their switch design that they have in their vcm mod same kind of you know basis and i'll show you that in the up close portion of this video but just so you guys know and understand really good company really good uh manufacturing now the actual company that manufactures this device is hellvape hellvape.com manufactures these mechanical tube mods and they are made out of china but it is an american company so you have an american company the ironsmith mod group which is having them dis uh, manufactured by Hellvape. And Hellvape does make some pretty impressive gear, you know. I really can't complain about Hellvape in general because they make good quality products. Now, as far as the Dead Rabbit RDA, this is the, uh, the Vaping Heathen. He has the Dead Rabbit RDA. It's also made by Hellvape okay but the dead rabbit has nothing to do with the iron smith mod group so just so you know it's manufactured by the same company which the stainless steel that they're using is the same as this mechanical tube mod so that's why it matches so perfectly and blends so nicely together um the Dead Rabbit RDA is a favorite RDA of mine. Uh, it falls into my top 10 RDAs of 2017. Uh, you know, in that top 10, you've got the Goon, you got the Drop RDA, you got the Apocalypse, the Apocalypse uh, Elite, uh, 
you know, Armageddon RDAs, they're great RDAs as well. The Goon RDA is a great RDA. The Drop, which, you know, made by a different company, of course, the Drop RDA is a great RDA. It's not made by Hellvape. But Hellvape, I got to say, does release some quality products, so I have no problems or issues with Hellvape. The only thing I dislike about the Dead Rabbit is mainly the airflow airflow control top because it has the angled slots on the airflow so if you go to purge the vape will hit you in the face and that's the only negative con other than that the building deck is great super easy to build on you know so i really really dig the dead rabbit rda and you know what it's i gotta say i gotta commend heathen the vaping heathen he came out with an RDA that is on a worldwide scale. I mean, it's not just released in the United States. It's everywhere. I mean, it's in Australia. I mean, this RDA is everywhere. So props to the heathen on coming out with such a great design. And props for Hellvape for coming out with a great design as well. As far as this mechanical tube mod... I actually really dig the stainless steel over the brass and the copper. So let's go up close. Let's check out this uh, mechanical tube mod and the set. Uh, I'm going to show you the brass, the copper, and the stainless. And I'm going to show you the website where I picked it up and everything. So let's go from there. So these are the three boxes that my mechanical tube mods are sitting in. I have a stainless steel, a brass, and a copper. At the top of the box, it'll say Ironsmith Mechanical Mod, set 01. And then if we look at the bottom of the box, it'll say Human Engineering, Innovative Vent Hole, and Canted Coil Spring. On the back of the box, it's going to have all our specifications. And if we read those specifications, it says that the mod is 88 millimeters in full length. It has 24 millimeter ports and 21.5 millimeter circumference with a hybrid 510 connector. Two groups of total of six airflow combinations located at the top and the bottom and a canted coil spring for better conductivity. At the bottom of the box, you'll find your Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter locations where you can reach out to this company and inquire with questions. Now, what's cool is they give you a little warning card on the inside displaying wrapped batteries that have rips and tears in them and not to use them. This way, you do not short out your battery and cause some sort of catastrophe. Now on the opposite side of that card, it's going to show and display 510 connection pins on which ones to use and which not to use. Obviously, the X does not have a protruding pin. On the check mark, it has a slight protruding pin on it. So the thumbs up actually has a slightly more protruding pin. And if you were to look at the emoji on the bottom, that pin just sticks out way too far and you might just damage your batteries and create a short by having too long of a pin. Now looking at the size of the mechanical tube mod, we know it's 88 millimeters in length, but at the widest point of the mechanical tube mod, it's actually 26 millimeters at the widest points. The most narrowest point is 21.5 millimeters in width, okay, and 24 millimeters at the very top and the bottom. You could use your batteries positive going up towards the 510 connection, or you could use it positive towards the switch because there is venting at the top of the mod and the bottom. Now, this diagram is to illustrate the venting at the 510 connection. It will pass between your RDA and your mechanical tube mod out the sides at three points. Now, this is a diagram of the switch housing displaying if a battery were to vent positive towards the switch, it shows how the gases will escape the switch housing and the button area. So, inside the box, I got this little chamois cloth which is used to wipe away fingerprints on your mechanical tube mod. It's pretty handy. It's pretty dandy. It will not remove patina, unfortunately. It's just there to shine up your mod and remove fingerprints. Seeing the mod up close, we have 24 millimeter at the 510, 26 millimeter 
at the widest point, 21.5 in the center, 26 millimeter again, and 24 millimeter at the switch. What's cool is, if you look at this mod, they have these little engraved areas on the mechanical tube mod that go up and down, but do not touch the center of the mechanical tube mod. At the 510 connection, you'll notice we have our three points of venting at the 510 with engraved channels around the 510 in the form of a triangle. This way, gases and pressure can escape through the top of the 510 and under your RDA and above your mech mod, right in between, so it has a possibility to escape rather than explode. At the center of the mechanical tube mod is displayed the Ironsmith logo, which is displayed very nicely. Uh, although this is 316L stainless steel, be wary, it can scratch very easily. Down at the switch area, the button is actually recessed in, so you can see if you turn it on its side, the button does not protrude out the mechanical tube mod. Looking at the switch at a glance, you'll notice there are grooved in channels into the threads of the switch housing, and this is for the battery venting that faces the switch housing. It will go in through that rectangular hole and make its way through around the button area. Now, these are the parts and components that make up our switch housing. This is our silver plated copper contact. And I got to say, for six months worth of usage, I'm only showing three little tiny points of battery arcing on this contact which is actually really good for six months of use and abuse. Now this is our battery height adjuster, which has battery venting on it. That's what all those grooves on that battery height adjustment are, are for letting the battery venting scenarios escape to those channels on the threads of the switch housing. Now looking through the top of the switch housing, uh, under the Delrin battery height adjuster, you'll notice there is a silver spring lying in a circular motion in the switch housing. This is our canted coil spring, which is very much like the VCM Mod Triple X switch housing, which is always in constant contact with this uh, center copper, silver plated copper contact. And for those of you who are inquiring how that battery height Delrin adjuster is sitting in place, it's held in place by an O-ring that wraps around on the bottom of that Delrin battery height adjuster. The serial number of this mechanical tube mod is located on the switch housing itself. I have serial number 73. Now, I just wanted to show you up close the contact, how it sits in the switch, and how it performs when pushing it up. It is a spring-loaded switch design, which has a nice tension to it, but does perform really well. Now, Helfe really did an excellent job on the machining of this mechanical tube mod. I mean, the threads are just amazing on this. So overall, this mechanical tube mod is very comfortable to hold in your hand with that center 21.5 millimeter most narrowest point that opens up to the 26 millimeter in diameter at the widest point. Very comfortable, very easy to use, awesome mech mod. So I just wanted to show you guys at the final note that I do have the copper and brass versions of this mechanical tube mod. And I just want to say that it's been an absolute pleasure using the 316L stainless steel mechanical tube mod. I use the copper, I use the brass, but I favor the 316L stainless steel more than the other two mods. 
So you've seen it up close. You've seen everything about this Mechanical 2 mod that I love and appreciate the most. You've seen the inner design of the switch, the inner design of the button, the inner design of the contact. It is a single tube Mechanical 2 mod with a switch housing that is inserted and recessed. And it is a hybrid connection up top. Ample venting at the 510 connection, ample venting at the switch area. So no matter which way or direction you put your battery, whether it's positive up or positive down it's still going to be safe just note to so keep in mind that it is a hybrid connection so you are going to need a elongated pin which i showed you in this video as well and that's it that's all i got to say 159 dollars well spent good money well spent and that's it that's all i gotta say from me to youtube peace out like comment and subscribe i'm out of here laters